Hi, my name's Sean Beasley, and here's the first hands-on review of the uh, upcoming OTRS app for the iPhone. When you first start the program, this is the screen that you'll be presented with, and this allows you to um, create multiple connections. For example, if you have a test portal, uh, then a live portal, and maybe uh, maybe you're working with two companies as an external uh, resource and you want to connect to multiple portals. So when I go here into my account, then I'll see the name of the account that I'm connected to up at the top, and I'll be presented with these options, queue view, status view, escalation view, watch tickets, lock tickets, and responsible. Here I can then start to look for tickets, for example, in the IT second level infrastructure. I have the chance to change views from uh, medium to large, exposing more information. They've added a little information button here to tell you what you're actually seeing. So here you're seeing the title, ticket number from to subject, um, age, status, queue, owner, and customer. That of course changes when we when we put away the info box and go back to the medium view and click again on info. And we're going to see the next set of information is a little bit smaller, but again, they've made sure that you know what you're looking at. So going back here into the queues, uh, I can sort my sort my tickets or look at my tickets in the status view. And they've included then filters, open and closed, for example. And then here I can look at uh, an escalation view. I can see what's going to escalate next week. Uh, the same thing for today and tomorrow. So that's really nice. And then here, this last section, watch tickets, unlock, or uh, lock tickets, and responsible. Those are going to be probably the most interesting things because those are the ones that I'm actually concerned about and working on. So if I look here into um, lock tickets, and I look at my reminder tickets, and I see, oh, there's a diskette. It's stuck. Then I'll click on the ticket to open it. And here you can see I can go through the articles one by one and look and see what's been done, waiting on feedback. So I'm actually at the agent's desks and I said, okay, well, I've solved the problem. So I can here add a note, I can compose an, an email answer. So if I go to compose, then I get your standard email fields with uh, things like next ticket status, or next ticket state, actually. I can set a pending date. I can add my time units. And if I want to, I can go back here and then I could actually move the ticket with a quick move, which will allow me to select a queue that it should be moved to. Something similar to the drop down move menu in OTRS. Or I can do a move to queue, which allows me this um, to add the notes and maybe create a new owner, change the state, add my working units. Or I could actually just go ahead and close the ticket. So now let's see. We've seen that there's some tickets in this system. And let's see actually how easy it is to get from one system to the next. Here yeah, I've got my statuses with a couple of locked tickets. So I've got three locked tickets in this system. We'll go back here to uh, our test portal. And now you can see here I've got uh, definitely more here. I've even got watch tickets and responsible tickets. And so then it's really easy just to switch from one system to the other. One of the nice things that they've done here is they've included the Ajax filter. So if I actually start searching for a customer here, then I'm going to start seeing customers appear. Yeah. That's it for the iPhone demo right now. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I've enjoyed doing it. And and uh, as new things come out, as, as the application progresses, then I'll be doing more tutorials or more, um, not tutorials, more reviews about the iPhone app for OTRS. And we think it's going to be a lot of fun and we hope that you guys enjoy it. And we'll be looking forward to more features and uh, more functionality and uh, an iPad version in the iPad format very soon. As you can see, by the way, this is running on iPhone. Um, 
iPhone version 4. You can see through the folders and things like that. Okay, have a nice day.